Assalamu alaikum. This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org slash donate. As little as $10 a month can help people find life-changing guidance. So if you know, those of you have been attending regularly, one of the keys to retaining knowledge is, is review, right? Is, is review. And also, one of the most practical ways of review is review not just knowledge, but review practice, right? That, um, that as you review, like you review the rulings of, of, of purification, wudu, am I doing wudu in this, in this way? And then, are there things that, that arise in my day-to-day, whether daily or sometimes on and off, that I, I'm not very clear about? Okay, that I'm in a rush. Is that okay, what, what I do, etc. So then, sometimes the answer will be clear in the review. And if it's not, that, that's, a, that's something one asks about. One gets to prayer, right? How does one, you know, Waqir, who was one of the students of Imam Abu Hanifa, and one of the teachers of Imam Shafi'i, and is renowned for his memory, so much so that he's a person who Imam Shafi'i asked, uh, that I complained to Waqir for uh, about my bad memory, so he pointed me towards leaving uh, disobedience. Because light, the, the, because the divine knowledge is a light and 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 this light is not gifted to the sinner um, to the disobedient of course imam shafi was not in a state of sin he's someone who said i have never lied in my life right right and he said like a noble person does not disobey their lord right and he was known even from childhood for his uprightness and, and honor. Because Isyan right, is to ob- obedience has levels. There's to obey in the obligatory, the recommended, the proper manners. These are all degrees of obedience. And disobedience, there's a disobedience of sin, of the disliked, of the improper, of leaving adab, of leaving consciousness of Allah. These are all degrees of disobedience right? the one who is obeying heedlessly their disobedience in the disobedient in the quality of their obedience so imam al imam waqir said that we used to rely kunna nasta'inu ala hifz ahadith rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam bil amali biha we used to rely in memorizing the hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam upon um acting upon them, that by acting upon the hadith, we used to memorize the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu right? So that's one of the aspects that, you know, when we review each of the chapters, say, okay, how does this relate to my life? Now, some chapters you say, well, ha- have you made tayammum often? Right? Have you? Ever? Once or twice. Have you made tamu? Ever? Okay. After class, just go and practice a do a practice tamu anyway. You know, amalan bil ilm lillahi taala. Right? There's topsoil here. You can use a stone too, by the way. So, but practically, so okay. Is it con- conceivably possible that you could be in a situation where it happens? Reasonably, right? Do you have a herd of sheep anywhere? No, right? So if you don't have plans for something, say, well, not right now, right? But at least you understand it well enough. So let's say, you know, you get, you know, you decide to spend two years overseas and they ask you to teach you and there's a whole bunch of villagers who come and it happens. One of my friends went to teach in Hyderabad unexpectedly. And a bunch of, no kidding, some farmers showed up. 
I not like you know they they had land holdings that had all these questions. So he didn't know all the rulings off the top of his head, but he understood them well enough that he could, based on his understanding, he could quickly review and tell them correctly. So that's how, you know, and of course, we prioritize the things that relate to our actions. Right? Um, so that's one of the, the ways that, that, that we review uh, um, and then from next week, uh, we'll be starting um, on, you know, on Sundays, Sheikh Yusuf and myself, uh, to cover, we'll be covering a complete text in Hanafi fiqh from beginning to end, the Mukhtasar of Amal Quduri. It'll take one year. There's four, we'll be breaking it down to four parts the section on worship, then the section on, um, pers on family law, then commercial law, then the remaining chapters, um, and so it'll consolidate what, what we've covered, but inshallah, look at it um, any more deeply. Those of you who know Arabic, you can follow along with the Arabic text, etc. We'll give you all the details. Um, we'll have all the details ready um, in this week in time for, um, for the, the starting of the session. The first class will be introduction to the author, the text, etc. How to benefit uh, from the text, bi'ithni Allah ta'ala. And with that, we'll be covering... Um, the Mukhtasar of Sahih al-Bukhari, which is a 290 plus hadith, you know, mega abridgment of the Sahih of al-Bukhari. But the idea is to, to have an introduction to prophetic teachings. Um, and it's by a very blessed Imam of Islam, Imam Ibn Abi Jamrah, who really tried to capture the soul of the hadiths in Sahih al-Bukhari. Um, it's a great, great scholar. And there's Used, it used to be and remains actively taught in many lands. And that's why there are many commentaries on this work, including by the author himself. But we look at, you know, many of the, you know, what, what is the guidance understood from these hadiths, according to the great scholars of Islam. Um, so so that will be uh, Sundays from 1.30 uh, till 4 p.m. وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.